I do not like the man who squanders life for fame. Give me the man who living makes a name. Wealth and fame can get you a lot of things — private jets and helicopters, massive mansions in Southern California, bodyguards to protect you against fanatical fans. But there's one thing money and fame can't buy you, and that's immortality. Whether you have money or are destitute, whether you're famous or a nobody, we all end up in the same place. Fame will not protect you from the harsh reality that is the Reaper's grim touch. Whether you're flying overhead in a multi-million dollar machine, or driving through an endless stream of gridlocked traffic, nobody is immune to the inherent risk of life. A man by the name of John Smith, one that you have probably never heard of, was one of those very ordinary people who had to drive himself the two-hour commute to work each day to earn himself a paltry income. What he lacked in income, he made up for in volunteering his time. He would attend the local homeless shelter every Saturday evening to help prepare meals for the less fortunate. As I said, you probably have never heard of him, but you might know somebody like him. Late last year, on his way home from work, he was involved in a rear-end collision where he was hit from behind by a speeding truck. Unfortunately for Mr Smith, he never saw the night out. The incident wasn't reported in the local newspaper as there were a number of other incidents that day that were deemed more important. He became but another statistic. Day in, day out, there are many John Smiths suffering the same fate, but we don't hear about them, and we probably never will. However, if you're famous, if you're rich, if you're considered successful and suffer the same fate as John Smith, you'll make international headlines. This doesn't necessarily mean that you did more with your life than John, but in this money-obsessed society, you were considered to be of more importance. You were able to convince the masses that your life was worth more than the John Smiths of the world. This was exemplified by your obscene salary, your international stardom, and your latest book signing deal. You were worth knowing, but now, just like everybody else who came before you, you are gone.